Okay, guys. So today we are torquing down uh, these set screws on these lugs, and we're going to be applying torque marks to them to show that we have torqued them to the correct spec. Um, now these particular lugs do not have a torque spec on the front of them. Also, uh, this is in a junction box, and I don't have any paperwork with this junction box. So I have no idea what these lugs are supposed to be torqued to. Now there's two ways you can go about finding this information. The first way is to contact the manufacturer of the disconnect or lugs that you're looking at. So the lugs we're looking at are manufactured by Panduit, right there's the name. They're UL listed, that shows that. And this is the model number. And that says, if you can't read it, that's LAM. 2A350. This next number here is the rated size of wire. So it'll hold anything from 6 gauge to 350. Now nowhere on there it shows up there it's rated for copper and aluminum at the very top up there. But nowhere on here does it tell me how many inch pounds or foot pounds of torque to apply. So if you contact the manufacturer and wait for an answer or the specifications in an email, you can get it that way. Or you can simply go to Google and you can type in that model number from the, uh, from the lug and the, find the brand and you can click on it, go to specifications and it's going to tell you the torque spec for this. That's the fastest way is just typing in Google, make sure you got the exact lug and use that information. So I've already done that. So today we're gonna to be torquing these set screws down to 400 inch pounds. 400 inch pounds works out to 33 and a third foot pounds. So we're gonna be going to 33 and a half. So again, if you don't have the torque spec for a lug or disconnect terminals, whatever, whatever you wanna call it, uh, you can simply type in the model number of the lug and find the manufacturer and it'll give it to you off Google. So again, this is just a quick tip for all you Sparkies out there um, and all you apprentices that are coming up and wanting to learn. Uh, instead of asking your boss, pull, pull your phone out, you got the world at your fingertips and do a little research. Hopefully this helps somebody out, makes somebody a better electrician. Um, as always, thank y'all for watching, and uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all our future videos. Uh, go check out our past videos if you enjoy electrical content, and uh, y'all have a great day.